everyone, thanks for watching. Today's video is the second video in our collaboration series uh, that Craft with T and I are doing. You will see a link in the description and I will be plopping one in right about here so that you can uh, check out her video. So we are using the sketch that's up on your right hand corner um, that says I Spy Sketches. We found this on Pinterest. Uh, I believe the website is on the um, on the sketch and I'll also link it to the uh, in my descriptions. I will be using the uh, Cartabella Spring Market and this is the paper collection and I have to say one small disclaimer I am not a card maker um, so I did struggle a little bit or a lot but uh, I decided to make my card faces five and a half by four and a quarter and my card mats are five and a quarter by four. So they're technically just an eighth of an inch smaller than my card base. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut up my six card bases. Well, technically I only needed five, but uh, it turned out that I was able to get two at, um, six of them out of a 12 by 12 sheet. And I will be using both sides of them. So um, I figured uh, this wood grain was pretty um, a clo as close to a solid as I wanted to get. And um, it still gave me a little bit of um, design element to uh, use and that was the back that I just flipped over real quick. So for the first layout I'm going to show you I will be doing the one with the um, hexagons in the circle and for this specific card I will be using the hexagon from the oh geez and here we go losing stuff. Oh, charm number five. So for this one I will be cutting out five hexagons and I will be cutting out three from this paper and for right now I only cut two because I wasn't sure how I wanted to place them but I end up cutting three from the black paper and then two from the black and white stripe paper. I also will be inking all my edges with hickory smoke and that's a Tim Holtz distress ink the colors hickory smoke um, I, for this specifically for this paper collection I do like the gray because there's black in it and I feel like the gray was gonna work the best I will also be cutting uh, two hex hexagons from this paper and Basically, my card will be just about done at this point because um, really those were the largest elements. I will be using a sentiment from the sticker pad um, and I will be cutting out a circle using my circle um, template from the rings collection, which I think I threw in the garbage don't do like I do I start cleaning up and I go a little uh, crazy and this is probably the third um, template that I've tossed luckily my garbage hasn't gone out so I will be hunting through my garbage to make sure it doesn't stay in the garbage and ends up in the trash which like I said I've done it before I'm missing two as we speak and I know I'll never find them because I've been missing them for quite a while now. So I end up using the smaller um, rings, the smallest one out of the collection. So this definitely was um, out of my comfort zone. Like I said, I'm more of a scrapbooker. Um, oh, there we go, rings one. Hi, Rings One. I wonder where I, maybe if I watch the video, I'll know where I put it <laughs> or which pile it ended up in the garbage. Um, 
I'm not a card maker again. And so using the sketch helped. Um, it helped me see the vision and then just decide on what papers I was going to use. And, you know, it all came together. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Um, but yeah, this was definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, I'm, I don't know why. It's so easy. I think mostly because cards are so small, you know, like I'm so used to a big 12 by 12, um, uh, you know, space where when I'm doing a card, it's only, you know, five and a quarter by four. Um, it really is a little more, um, uh, definitely harder for me to, to shrink everything down in my brain. So as I cut this circle out, um, I will be using one of the stickers from the collection that came in the kit and I'm just going to plop it onto this um, circle that I'm cutting out and then I'm going to mat <coughs> my circle. I'm sorry, not mat it. I'm going to use Fun Foam to, um, to give it a little dimension and make it pop off the page. And here I'm just trying to figure out how I want to place them and I'm pretty happy with the way that looks so I am gonna start sticking things down oh there is my joy right there and I'm just going to ink it and then stick it down So using sketches definitely makes it a lot easier. You don't have to um, make too many decisions as far as design. So this is definitely a great way to um, get out of your comfort zone and try something different. So I'm just going to give it a quick um, inking and then I'm going to start gluing everything down. And that will be my card right there. I'm just going to snip off whatever's hanging over the sides as far as my hexagons is, con is concerned. Um, I do like to kind of take them off the edge of the paper because it does make the card look um, a little more, um, I don't know, finished. I guess that's the right word or, you know, it just, I like the way it looks when it's hanging off the edge. Of course, I run out of glue or tape so <coughs> excuse me so I'm just going to switch out my adhesive and um, I am just going to start like I said taping everything down and it's not going to look exactly like the sketch but um, I was very happy with the way it turned out this is probably one of my favorite cards So you guys, I'm very close to my 500 giveaway. Um, I'm at 499 subscribers. I haven't announced the giveaway yet because I keep fluctuating between 500 and 499. So I'm just trying to wait for it to actually stay at 500. So once I am at 500 subscribers, I will release a video explaining the rules to my giveaway. And, uh, and when, when I will actually be calling the name of the winner. Um, so make sure you click the subscribe button and um, click on the notification so you're notified and you'll know when the giveaway is. And again, that's a $50 Kiwi Lane gift card to my Kiwi Lane store. And yeah, I'm very excited to finally give this away. And again, I'm so close, I could smell it. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull out a couple brads for my stash. Um, and I am going to use my, um, not really sure what it's called, but it's a little pokey tool. And I'm just gonna poke three little holes, two little holes rather, and I'm just gonna stick my um, 
brads through them. And these are just tiny brads that I had in my in my stash. And basically, that's it. And I am using some, um, I think they're close to my heart, and they're, they already come pre-folded, pre-cut, and they come with the matching envelopes. So at this point, I decide that I'm going to pop this card up. So I'm going to use a fun foam, and I'm just going to um, trim it down a little so that it's not too large. Actually, no, I'm going to use black cardstock <laughs> first to just give myself a small little eighth of an inch um, border. So I'm just using my close to my, uh, my Creative Memories paper cutter and I'm just going to go ahead and trim it up and then I'm going to go just stick everything down. So I'm adhering my card base, I mean my card front. I'm going to use my ATG tape because it's a little stronger. I'm going to adhere it to this um, paper card mat, which I did in black. And I noticed that it, I didn't really center it correctly, so I'm just going to um, take it off and try again. And that isn't any better, but it's good enough for me. I probably, um, will just keep this card forever and ever anyway, and not send it to anybody. So, um, I'm okay with it not being a hundred percent censored. <coughs> so here's where I decide that I want to, um, use some fun foam to mat the card. I'm just going to have some added some adhesive to the back of the black. I am going to stick down the foam and the reason why I'm using a, almost a full sheet is so that if I do end up mailing it, then it won't lose its shape, it won't get any dents in it, it'll be nice and secure. That is a trick that I learned, I want to say from Christina Warner or um, one of the card gurus that I used to watch. So that's my first card and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I added, also added that little green uh, flourish to it. Oh wait, I wasn't happy with it because now we're moving it again, around again. Now I'm happy with it. So as you can see it's nice and puffed up. So for my next card I am going to use the, um, I will show you in a second, um, this specific paper and um, this is the same paper that I used earlier but just the back side of it and so yeah so this is um, card number two and I will be making I really was trying to figure out how to incorporate my Kiwi Lane uh, templates. As you can tell, none of these are actually have anything to do with Kiwi Lane. So I wanted to show you that you can use your templates and just be a little creative and um, change up the shapes a little bit. So for this card, I am going to use, which is the bottom left sketch that you see here in the top right corner. I'm going to use the, I believe that's the bliss, blissful, um, blissful 2B if I'm not mistaken. And <coughs> I am, instead of cutting it straight across, like it shows you on the picture in the sketch, I am going to use this to use this specific template to to give me that funky shape. 
and I am going to make them a little bigger than than what the sketch calls for. So here's where I'm trying to figure out if I want to use um, the flower side or the back side. I was a little hesitant um, and ended up using the flower paper as my um, as my background or my photo mat. Sorry about that. Some really obnoxiously loud vehicles driving by. And then the black and white is going to be my um, it's going to go behind my sentiment. And this card will be um, landscape instead of portrait. I just kind of turned everything on its side. So for this card, I was trying to see if I could use a template. And um, I ended up finding a, <coughs> excuse me, um, I ended up finding a really cute sentiment on one of the tags in the ephemera packs. And um, here I'm pulling out my ephemera. I apologize that I'm not 100% centered. Um, as you guys know, I scrapbook with my dogs sitting under my desk and I could not get my dog to move. She was like literally in front of my, where my, I should be and I had to sit further back and that's why I'm almost scrapbooking at the edge of my table. <laughs> I couldn't, she, she's like dead weight when she falls asleep. Um, and I kind of feel bad because they're here alone for most of the day while we're at work. And um, so yeah, so I kind of felt bad to move her. She was happy that mommy was home. So I end up using this Hello Sunshine uh, ephemera card and I am gonna pop it up with some, um, with some foam, fun foam and I'm going to add three little brads in place of those three little stripe strips that you see um, in the sketch and I will be placing them right on the black and white paper and I hopefully will not will move, realize that I'm out of off centered yeah I guess not <laughs> So yes, I'm just poking holes, three holes. I eyeballed it, I really didn't use a ruler, I didn't measure anything. And here I'm trying to push my, um, my, whatchamacallit, my brads through. And of course, when I flip the card over, they fell out. So I actually smarten up a little bit and I use my pokey tool to actually open up the, the little legs of the, of the brad because the struggle was real. So that is basically my card. Um, there's nothing else that I'm going to do to it. I am going to adhere it to my card front, or my, rather my card base. I'm going to add some adhesive and I will be using my ATG gun only because, you know, it's a lot stronger adhesive. And I kind of went a little bit adhesive crazy. So I'm just pushing that adhesive down so that card came out adorable too I was very happy with it so that was that sketch and for those three little there I show you that I used the brads instead so now we're going to create this next card and this one I created a little different I was not too thrilled with all the circles and everything that was going on so for this card I do go a little different And here I am just trying to figure out what I'm doing and I realize that my paper is too small if I'm not mistaken I will ink the edges and then I realize oh I cut that a little too small so I am going to figure out what I'm going to use and So this is actually a different card. This is actually the second, 
the right hand side let's see if I actually continue this one that is the top card on the right okay so here's what I end up doing I end up not using any of these papers other than the floral background paper and that floral that's in my left hand, I end up switching out. And basically that's how my card is gonna look. I will be using the Breezy 1B to cut out the um, edge of that black and white stripe so that, so that it has a, a fancier edge. And here I'm just gonna see that's when I realized yeah that would look really cute with that small edge to it so here's where I'm just playing with it and I figured out where I want it to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out and Yeah, that's going to be the top left corner of my card and I will clean that up and I will cut it down so that it fits the edge but I just for now I just want to make sure that everything is going to line up properly. So I'm ready to start adhering stuff. Again I apologize that I'm not in frame. I'm like two thirds in frame. <laughs> but I think soon I will move it up and I realize that I not really where I should be. So this card comes, comes together pretty easy as well. I end up using a sentiment that was in the ephemera pack. Um, and it says, if I had a flower for every time I thought of you, I would, I could walk in my garden forever. And here I'm adhering. I'm going to cut my edges of that paper so that it matches up. I'm going to ink those edges and ink the rest of my card. So I was thinking of using these, this little heart and this little flower as those two circle elements, but then I realized that I'm only going to do one because my sentiment is bigger than, um, than what they showed on the sketch. So I figured that I didn't need anything small, anything big. So I end up just using the one little heart. So I will pop up again this sentiment with some fun foam and I will adhere it right to my card and um, for that piece of ribbon that you see at the bottom I end up using a little sticker which was like a border sticker I end up cutting it in half so that it's thinner and using that at, in, in place of the ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my sentiment to the card and I'm just gonna plot it down right there. The heart's gonna go in that little corner and this card is basically done and it's going to get adhered to the card base. <coughs> and this is where I'm trying to decide what I want to use. I end up um, picking a um, 
that black and that floral um, border and just you'll see it in a second I again I apologize okay so for the next card actually before I start the next card I'm going to adhere my card front to this card um, to this card mat and this card is done so for this next card I'm actually speeding it up a little bit and I am creating that um, the second card on the right hand side so it's the the one with the um, horizontal bow, bow at the bottom right corner um, I figured I would speed it up a little because um, this video is a little longer than what I'm used to and it's already sped up but I you know I needed to speed it a little bit more and besides half of it you can't see anyway so since I never realized to move it up so I take the back part of my photo mat since I ended up not using one of them and I flipped it over to those really cute little circle um, wreath looking papers <laughs> and I am going to cut a square that is approximately let's see if I can figure it out it's uh, about three and three quarters um, by a little under three and three quarters and then I'm going to use the blissful 1b to cut out the um, edge and actually not the 1b I'm sorry let's see the blissful 2b I'm sorry blissful 2b um, to cut out the on the black and white which will be the bottom half of or the bottom third of my card or bottom quarter of my card So I'm going to use this little sentiment that says friends are the sunshine of life and I thought that was a really cute sentiment I am going to back it on some white scrap paper and then I'm going to um, mat it on some uh, fun foam I also end up using a scrap paper a scrap piece from when I cut out the breezy one in one of the previous cards um, for that top left corner so now I'm just going to adhere everything I do use a really small piece of the um, the border uh, sticker that I used in one of the previous cards and that's going to uh, be on the left lower part of my card and I stick a little flower on top of it and basically this card is done I find a little piece of pink um, lace that I have in my stash and I will use that lace to create a little uh, bow and just give me one second and you will see that momentarily and see there I go adhering my little ribbon and I just plop down some adhesive onto the card and there's my cute little ribbon I'm adhering putting adhesive down on the card mat and I'm going to adhere my card mat to my card base at first I was going to adhere it closer to the top but I didn't like the way it looked so I just centered it and now for my last card this card I struggled I am not gonna lie again I wanted to use my Kiwi Lane I just could not get the measurements right so I basically um, winked it so hopefully this will give you an idea of what I ended up doing if you hopefully I also realize that I'm, I'm hanging off the side of my desk and you'll be able to see what I did but we're really close to the end of this video this is the last card I created um, I want to thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe don't forget to jump over and check out T's page um, she will also be uh, creating the same 
using the same sketch she will make her version versions of her card and I'm sure her cards will be amazing because she is a card maker that's that's her thing so if you're looking for someone to inspire you to make cards she has some amazing cards she loves sketches check her out so yeah so this was not a fun card when I tell you I struggled I actually turned the camera off and um, had to think about it and figure out what I was doing But in the end, I think it turned out really adorable. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to um, let this video continue. If you uh, stick to the end, I will have close-ups of all the cards as well as links to other videos. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great night.